I'm Ashley D'Souza, and you're watching another episode of Staged. And today, we're gonna look at a one-of-a-kind home. It's on 39 North Moore in Tribeca, four bedrooms, three and a half baths. It's 4,600 square feet, 2,300 square feet additional of outdoor space on a private rooftop. And what's cool about this home is it's actually over two different buildings and the unit's been combined, so it's super special. So for this project, we're working with Lisa Wright McHale of Spruce and Wright. She's fantastic. And with this property, she's got some challenges to work with. So you'll notice a lot of really beautiful details. There's whitewash brick. There's four enormous windows with beautiful arches. She's really gonna wanna feature those. Cast iron columns and a really beautiful fireplace as well to top it off. One of the challenges she's gonna have is making the two homes that have been combined really feel like one space. So it'll be interesting to see how she makes that flow work. They're not gonna be staging the whole home, only two of the living areas. They're gonna be editing the space with the owner's existing furniture. And I think she said something about maybe using things they already have, partnered with things she's gonna bring in. So I'm interested to see how she's gonna marry the two, the existing, and then how she's gonna accentuate it with her items too. That'll be really fun to see. So Lisa's working really hard over there. I know she's gonna take a couple more days to get everything ready, and then we're gonna go check it out and see what she's done. Today, I'm with Lisa Wright McHale of Spruce and Wright. She was brought on to make this really unique and funky space into something magical for sale. So tell me a little more about this home. I know it's really unique. It was actually two apartments that are in two different buildings that have been put together. Am I right? Very, very unique. This space was empty, so that was going to be our major challenge, but also how to tie the two spaces together so that they make sense for somebody who wants to buy the home in total or separate them. I can just imagine back in the day, like just entertaining in this space. <laughs> you can really you have a big double spa right here. and triple seating in here. So, I mean, obviously it fits a grand piano. So, um, the, you know, the key was to just really show that you can have these different seating areas throughout and comfort for everyone. Like you can have the best party here. Oh, I'm sure. <laughs> so we really love these four big windows with the arches. It brings a lot of character into the space. Same, and a lot of light. And you know what? We made a conscious decision to keep window treatments off of these windows because number one, they're classic Tribeca beauties. Yeah. And also just letting all that light in. So. I think they speak for themselves. I think it's great. I love that you didn't put anything on them and let them really stand out. What a mantelpiece, too. So tell me more about the inspiration, the colors, and you have these two distinct areas that also flow nicely. You know, I mean, I just spent a lot of time with the owners of this apartment. They've had a lot of great times here and a lot of history here. And I just felt like they're just such warm people, but also this space is such a cool, like classic, Tribeca space, I just wanted it to be a little bit nuanced, you know, not too cold, a little bit warm, but like different seating areas and just a little sex going on. Yeah, yeah. I, I get it. I like the fur blanket, you yeah, get some yeah. fun vibes in <laughs> here. Like, you can imagine just like, where's my martini, you know? I love it. <laughs> Speaking of entertaining, you've got a really nice table over here. Yeah. This is what, six, eight people? And you could even do more. So I know these owners had a lot of stuff. They've been here for a long time. Um, so when you came in, I, I knew you had to help kind of weave through and see what, what you wanted to work with, what you wanted to bring in new, and have them get rid of in storage. I mean, obviously the piano stayed. We love that. it was like mining through um, historic <laughs> artifacts, honestly. They have so many amazing pieces. It was, it was difficult to say that should stay, that should go. I mean, it was honestly a privilege to go through what felt like an archive of Tribeca 90s royalty. That's amazing. It was and I'm really sure fun. That's not, a, that's not a situation that you usually get when, you, not when you get hired. No, it's not normal. So for this, <laughs> for this apartment, you were really focusing on this seating room and then the seating room up off the terrace, right? But I know you had to kind of help with some other things. So the bedrooms, you kind of kept the same. I mean, just to try to tie it all together because there's so much history in this home and so much soul in this home. And I believe that homes do have souls um, and this one definitely does. So just how to tie it all together so that the next 
family or couple or whatever who comes in here, you know, gets that vibe. They feel it. Yeah. Right? They want to bring sure. their own spin. Their own spin. Yeah. Exactly. Next generation. So bringing out, taking out enough that you can see yourself here, but really honoring the history yes. that everyone wants a part you of. You just said right? it best. <laughs> yeah. It makes me want this. Seeing it. You said it best. Yeah. It's really great. This color scheme was already here, and then you... No. Uh, no, so this is new. You, this is new. This yes. is new. I love the orange. Thank you, me yeah. too. <laughs> you look nice on in the Thank orange you. as well. You compliment the sofa so well. <laughs> Planned I, it. I do like the warm colors and everything in here. That I, I assume that was, you know, everything has a reason. Well, I mean, warm, but also, you know, just neutral, and just, you know, just want people to focus on the space and not the stuff. Yeah, that's a good way. Yeah, that's important to remember. I mean, these are all really important pieces, mm -hmm. but you can still, you know, like you said, you chose not to put on curtains because you wanted to feature these beautiful windows and yes. you've got these nice columns to work with and really a lot going on. A lot going on, but a lot shouldn't go on with yeah. staging. Exactly, you had to pare it down. In the end, I think that it ended up just being exactly what it should have been. Yeah. Can you give me any examples? Was there anything that they really didn't want to put away or that you really felt strongly about that maybe you kind of butted heads on or were they agreeable to you and listened? We didn't butt heads really at okay. all. They're, they're a delightful people, but the one thing that I did say, if that book goes, <laughs> I'm firing myself. <laughs> it's a pretty cool book. It's an amazing book, yeah. so yeah. So that's it. No, they've been lovely, and I, I know whoever comes in here and feels the vibe is is gonna live happily ever after. Absolutely. Yeah. I can't wait for them to get showing. I'm sure it's gonna go quick. So let's take a look upstairs. You've got another seating area up here, right? So many seating areas <laughs> okay. in this place. So Lisa, I'm really excited about this level because this is really where I would spend most of my time, right? So you have your primary suite, office, office. up here, living room, Honestly, and that terrace. Oh God, Holy I mean, cow. just off this. But this is such a cozy space. And you know, the, the sellers have the most amazing collection of books. It's crazy. I've, it's been fun to- Did you organize these to look I like did. this? <laughs> I wanted to use some of their furniture and also just, you know, just make it really cozy. And then of course, once Maybe. you go outside, it's like, oh my God. There's no better place to end the tour than this beautiful 3,000 square honestly, foot terrace. Honestly, honestly. Did you take your breaks out here? Yes, right. of there course. There were no breaks. You were working so hard, Lisa. <laughs> there might have been a few breaks. <laughs> so, where do we find more about you and follow what your projects are? We're spruceandwright.com and okay. that's it. Well, we'll have a look there. All right. Thank you again for your help. She's the best. <laughs> Thanks again for watching another episode of Staged by Listed. I'm Ashley D'Souza. I'd love to hear from you. What piece were you really interested in inside? I know there were so many cool pieces that the owners have collected and that Lisa brought in too. So. The Helmut Newton book. Well, oh, yeah. It's pretty expensive, right? So dope. Oh my god. $25,000. $25,000 book? Let me know if you have a book that's more than $25,000. <laughs> Comment, like, subscribe, and we'll see you on the next episode. <laughs>